your child will sometimes need help getting secretions out of their lungs. You can accomplish this by a process called suctioning. You will know when to suction by the look, listen, and feel technique. Look at your child for any changes in color like blue or pale lips, fingers, or toes, increased work of breathing, facial expressions, secretions in the mouth, around the stoma, or in the adapter attached to the trach. Listen to your child's breath sounds for wet, high-pitched noises. Feel your child's chest for vibrations. This may be coming from the secretions from building up in the lungs. Wash hands with soap and water or apply hand sanitizer for 20 seconds. You will need a suction catheter, suction machine, gloves, or clean hands and saline. When choosing an inline suction catheter size, choose the largest catheter that fits inside the trach. This allows maximum clearance of the secretions. Use of an inline suction catheter allows your child to be suctioned without being disconnected from the ventilator. The clear plastic sleeve protects the catheter from contamination. Turn the suction machine on and check for safe suction pressure. Remove the cap from the end of the inline catheter if necessary and connect the catheter to the suction tubing. Check the suction control knob and open if needed. Use one hand to stabilize the inline suction catheter at the hub of the trach. Use your other hand to advance the catheter to the measured suction depth. Press the suction control knob as you slowly pull the catheter out of the trach tube. Pull to remove the catheter until the tip is visible in the adapter window. Suctioning your child's tracheostomy tube should not take more than four to six seconds. Rinse secretions from the catheter after each time you suction. Do so by attaching a saline vial to the short tubing on the catheter and then pressing the suction control knob, gently squeezing small amounts of normal saline into the catheter. Repeat suctioning steps as needed, allowing 30 seconds for your child to catch his or her breath between each suctioning. Call your doctor if secretions are thick yellow-green, foul-smelling, blood tinged lasting longer than 24 hours or becoming worse.